Okay, so welcome back. So now we're going to talk about slope. Okay, so in this video, um, I'm going to, again, it'll be a quick video. We're going to introduce slope and then I'm going to talk about uh, other examples of slopes. But slope represents the steepness and orientation of a line. Okay, so slope is used uh, all the time in lots of different contexts. For example, highways, uh, the slope of a highway, the slope of a hill. Uh, when you're talking about highways, the, it's the, the terminology or the jargon is grade, the grade of a highway, and it's usually uh, uh, given as a percentage. Uh, for example, if we say that a highway has a 20% slope, oops, let's say this, the grade is 20%, okay? So if the grade is 20%, well, what they're saying is, well, this is the same as, by definition, 20 over 100, right? Or, in this case, it's 2 tenths, 2 over 10. And so what they're saying about the highway is, for example, um, for every 10 units that you go horizontal, on the highway, the highway is going up two units. Okay, so every 10 feet, for example, if we, if it has a slope of, if it has a grade of 20%, we're saying that for every 10 feet you move horizontally, the highway is moving, is going up vertically two feet. Okay, or it could be miles. Every 10 miles, um, it's moving up two miles. So that gives you an idea of the steepness of the highway. Okay, so again, so that's another use of slope. So, but in, in our, you know, talking about linear functions and lines, graphs of straight lines, um, slope tells you those two things. It tells you the steepness of the line and the orientation of the line, okay? So, here is what we're looking at. So, here's the definition of slope. It says the slope, M, of the line through the points X1, comma, uh, X1, y1 and the point x2, y2 is given by this formula. Now, some common things to realize. So m, is, the slope is, if you think about it, it's just rise over run. Think about uh, remembering rise over run. So it's the, the distance that you're rising over the distance that you're running. So running, think horizontal, rising, vertical. Okay, and that'll help you. Now this is the delta y over delta x. Delta is the symbol for change, okay? So delta y, so if you've ever taken chemistry or any physics, you, delta comes up all the time in science and mathematics. So change in y, so this means the change in y divided by the change in x, okay? That's what this means, delta y over delta x, delta y divided by delta x. So if we want to take this, well that means we're going to take the difference in the y. So change in y means we're taking the difference in the y's, and we're dividing by the change in x, which is the difference in the x's. So this would, oops, that should be a 1. Okay, so the change in the y, well that's going to be y2 minus y1. And the change in the x's, that's going to be x2 minus x1. So that's the formula that we're going to use. Okay, so all three of these are the same thing. This is the formula. These are the two ways that we can write it as far as symbolically, okay? Now, we also are assuming that the denominator cannot be zero for obvious reasons, right? You can't divide by zero. Okay, we're gonna talk about that in, in, a, in a, the next video. Uh, but, so with that assumption, this is the formula for the slope of a line. So now, one last thing. It doesn't matter which point you make x1, y1, or x2, y2, okay? And so, you just have to be consistent, okay? So, you've got to make sure whatever y2 is, x2 is matched down here, okay? So, you got to be consistent on the top and the bottom. Okay, you can't mix these up. Okay, and some students will do that. They'll put, they'll inadvertently put y2 minus y1 and then put x1 here, x2 here. So you, you, they flip them when they're not supposed to. Now, you can change 
you can flip these as long as you flip both the top and the bottom. So this is actually the same as if you did y1 minus y2 divided by x1 minus x2. So this and this is okay. So as long as you're consistent on how you do the points on the top, of the, how you subtract them from the top and the bottom, you'll be fine. Okay? Just be consistent. Okay, that's it.